Oh yeah, I got nice icicles in my beard. Hmm, that's a very moist beard. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday morning and we are getting ready for school. Hi Addison. Hi. Doing homework, playing with cars. Skipped right over me. Being Kenya, <laughs> wearing orange. Wearing orange. For Katie's work, she has to wear orange. That's her company color. So she teaches Chinese kids English on online and orange is their color. So she gets she gets a lot of orange. <laughs> um, so we found out late last night that our buyers backed out. So they canceled their contract, which means we're back to square one, kind of, with selling the house. We actually have a backup offer. Um, there are some details in the backup offer that we have to figure out, um, but yeah. Get out of here. Why? <laughs> I gotta go wash my makeup off. Who did your makeup? Kenya. Oh, well, it looks beautiful. Did a fabulous stuff. You're camera ready now. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so pretty. Let's show, <laughs> let's show everybody our crawl space. Oh, what? This is the best part of our house, you guys. Yeah, stuff, stuff, stuff everywhere. This is one of the things that really sold me on this house so that we could store all of our junk. And we are going to own this place right now. This is our domain. All this, pictures, memorabilia, childhood memories, arts and crap. You know what usually happens with days like this is we, we end up no, not getting very much done and just going down memory lane. Look at pictures. We look at pictures. Oh, remember look when I was on the soccer team? That was fun. I'll keep this sweatshirt in a box for 50 years and show my great grandkids that I had this sweatshirt. Christmas ornaments? You don't need Christmas ornaments when you live in an RV. We've never even used those Christmas tree ornaments. See, here's the problem. Here lies the problem is that we don't use half of this stuff. We don't even know what half of this stuff is. Don't worry, don't worry, because if you have your cassette tape player handy, we have lots, we have her entire tape cassette collection. Uh, let's see, what do we have in here? Uh, mixed tapes, of course, I'm sure these are from high school boyfriends. Um, the, the Little Mermaid, if you want to listen to Little Mermaid on cassette, we've got it. The Lion, she was mostly just into Disney. <laughs> Oh, here's, here's the good stuff. Here's the good stuff, you ready? Nirvana, of course. Were these actually yours? These were too cool to be yours. Beck. <laughs> Weezer, look at that. That's awesome. Weezer cassette. Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, I married her and then found out that she actually hates the Smashing Pumpkins. That is a lie. That would have been a deal breaker for me. And uh, a little bit more Nirvana. Never mind. Wow. We should keep this around. I know. That's why I've been holding on to it. It's amazing. How can you get rid of that? Can I them on this? I'm sitting on the box. Boxes, then absence taking them off. Hey, show me. Okay. Kenya puts them on the cart. Yep. Milo sits his bum on them. to Addison, who then takes them inside. This is brilliant, you guys. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, 
Today is major downsizing day. All of this stuff. Look at all that stuff. Maybe this. No. <laughs> all of this stuff's going to Savers thrift store. We're gonna load the van up. We're gonna take it there and donate all of it. There's some good stuff in here, like a you know a boot. Tell us what you've been doing all morning. Crying. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> been rejoicing that all this extra clutter will leave my life forever. Hopefully our marriage can last this stuff purging. <laughs> you think that buying a house can be the biggest stress in a marriage? Getting rid of a house. <laughs> Decluttering a house and moving on. Look at that. Empty. Whoop whoop. <laughs> hey, today's adventure day and the girls aren't awake yet. And uh, you're going to come with me to wake them up. Are you ready to go hiking to the hot pots? What? Are you ready to go hiking to the hot pots? Huh? You, you ready to go hiking? <laughs> no? Why not? I'm not dressed. <laughs> Today, we are headed off to Third Springs Hot Springs. So it's like a four and a half mile hike total. Uh, and then at the top you get to these hot springs, you get to hang out in the hot springs. It's really, really cool. And we're gonna have some fun up there, some shenanigans. Um, and right now I'm making some breakfast. We're gonna do some eggs and ham and uh, get our tummies all full before we take off. So uh, anyway, it's gonna be a good day. All right, so we're here at the trailhead and it is 23 degrees. <laughs> Look out there, man. Oh, this is gonna be cold. You guys ready for this? Yeah! Woo! Are we gonna stay warm? No! <laughs> happens when you decide to do something very different than the norm which is what obviously what we're doing right now we're choosing to go full-time traveling figuring it out as we go we don't have everything figured out we don't have I mean, we don't know exactly like my work allows me to travel but we don't know how that's gonna look uh, so we don't fully have the money thing figured out we don't have the living space figured out but we just know we're gonna do it. And we've set our mind to it, and I know we'll be able to make it work because we've set our mind to it. But there's an interesting thing that happens when you do something like this that's outside of the norm or different from what most people do, and that is people get really critical. Uh, so we're starting to notice a lot of people in our lives giving us good advice. I mean, it's all out of love and it's all out of concern. I know that. We don't feel like we need to be tied down. We can move about, we can do good as we do that. And uh, that's exactly what we plan to do. So anyways, 
That's my soapbox. That's also my warning to any other families that are watching this that are thinking about doing something like this. Just know the, uh, the criticisms will come. The judgments will come. And uh, you just gotta stay true to what you know is right for you and your family or yourself. And adventure, man. Just have fun and get out there. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. Don't worry about the way other people are living their lives. You do you and have fun doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're here, getting changed, getting our swimsuits on. There's the hot pots. Yeah, we're so excited. Are we excited, Kenya? Yeah. Oh. How is it? Oh. Milo, are you eating a sandwich in the hot pot? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Are you loving this? This is pretty incredible, right? If you're considering to go on a hike, then uh, you should know that it really brings families together because you're spending a lot of time together and you make up songs together and it just brings you closer to your family. Yeah, I agree. Hikes definitely bring us closer. Right, Addison? Right. How close do you feel to me right now? Seven feet. <laughs> <laughs> Our family loves chapstick Our and family? Carmex. No, only mom or does. Or mom everybody. forces everybody to put large amounts of Carmex and lip stuff everybody must on be their lips at all times. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I love there's your family-friendly message for the I love for the video. I think we're in agreement that this is a four out of five. <laughs> what's our what's our rating object? Like you know how they have rate like stars like five star. What's Karen. Karens? Oh, that's a good one. We give this adventure four Karens, four out of five. That's pretty good. All right, so we just got done with Third Springs Hot Springs up Diamond Fort Canyon. And just a couple of pieces of information. You saw us, you probably saw us pulling out of there. When we got there, there was only like four cars in the parking lot, and now there are too many for that. To 20. <laughs> Way too many. We had to squeeze out. Oh my gosh. Look, look at this. This is insane. Is that nubby gonna make it? You better be our little to your right. That was, that was insane! Anyway, so a couple things. If you're gonna do these hot pots in Diamond Fork Canyon, Third Spring Hot Third Springs? Third Spring know. Hot Springs, I I've think. Never heard of I'll put the name right here and it will be nice and neat and, and real because I'll look it up. Accurate. But I think it's accurate. <laughs> or real, either one. Either yeah. real, real or accurate. Or accurate. Anyway. But accurate. But accurate. So but accurate. My, our suggestions are go early if you're gonna go on a weekend, like early. Probably start hiking by at least nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, don't take a big van. It is kid friendly, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. Um, there might be nudies up there when you get up there. We've come upon nudies before, but they just put their suits on when they saw that we had kids. It was nice of them. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Go on we a weekday it. if you can. Yeah, Probably weekday. A help. weekday would be awesome. So. Yeah. Anyway. Do it. Do it. Love Good always, now. adventure often. Yeah. Woo.